Hello, I am Brendan Clean, the Digital Communications Specialist here at the Global Sport Institute, joined by Global Sport Institute CEO Ken Shropshire to introduce our MLB field study and digital issue. Ken, this issue, of course, centered on the latest installment of our field studies series. We've looked before at college sports and the NFL. What stood out to you about this particular study looking at baseball and the MLB? Well, a, a couple of things are, are pretty interesting about this. This is an issue I've looked at for a while. Probably baseball, uh, you know, football I was involved in personally, but baseball is probably the sport that I've looked at the longest in, in terms of this, this issue, in terms of this issue of, of diversity and leadership. And, and the two things that jump out uh, the most, first, uh, the, the number of managers is managers of color, uh, African-American managers, to be more specific, uh, is now at two, where in 25 years ago, one of the times I looked at this closely, the number was three. So there's actually been a, a decline in the number of African-American managers. The other thing that's interesting about that is the number of players has declined dramatically as well. You know, when I looked at it 25 years ago, the league was actually 19% African-American. And now the number is down to about seven or 8%. Um, and, and so it's interesting, you know, is, is, and is that the, the denominator, so to speak, as to how big you would expect the number in leadership to be? So, so that's, that's the space that, that I, I look at the most as I look at this study, which, which really tells us where the managers come from um, and, and what their demographics are based on their experience. So a lot of it has to do, and one, one thing that has changed is when this was first looked at by a guy named uh, uh, Professor Reimer. Uh, I think he, he looked back at it, uh, might have been 1975 is when he started. Uh, so, so a while back, uh, and, he, and he looked into it for a number of years. And the most interesting thing there was the, the background of managers in terms of having major league playing experience. Um, it was overwhelming that you had to be, to be a person of color, uh, you had to play major league baseball. It, it's not so much overwhelmingly the case that it's African-Americans and uh, Latinos alone that are in that space anymore. So, so that's, that's, that's one of the spaces to, to take a close look at, but, but the, the in, the number of uh, people of color is declined dramatically uh, it, well, it hasn't declined. It is it's, it's so very small that it's, it's really hard uh, statistically to, to grasp what this is really telling us other than uh, the actual numbers in the moment. Sure. Yeah. And there's always unique parts of each sport that we've looked at, each league that we've looked at. And in this case, you know, in the NFL, it's, well, a lot of the players are Black. And so why are the leadership positions not reflecting that in this case, you know, the players, you could make the case aside from black players, there is, you know, this great diversity. It's a, it's a global game. There's, you know, Asian players, there's, there's Latin American players and, and all of that. And yet leadership has not reflected that part. And um, some of the, the black players and, and managers are, are actually dwindling from what they were, which is more expansive diversity issue, more expansive, you know, in terms of who is is at the face of this game. But that's been a lot of the conversation the past couple of years about the league. I think I think more and more fans and media are aware of this discrepancy. But there's been some hope, I guess you could say, that you know, guys like Vladimir Guerrero Jr., Fernando Tatis, these exciting young players of color who have come and you know been in the MVP race, become sort of faces of this league. So. Um, do you feel optimism? Do you, when you look at, you know, the manager data that we were able to, to glean, do you feel like we are, you know, headed toward change? It, it's on the one hand, you, you turn on the TV, you might feel that way, but the numbers show something pretty different. In baseball, I, it's, it's hard to be optimistic. I mean, because again, that, that, that root number, the engagement of African-Americans with baseball and, and, and frankly, the, the league office's efforts to increase African American participation, you know, there, there, there are small steps here and there, 
but certainly nothing dramatic enough. I mean, you know, if the number has declined over 25 years um, from, from a high to where it is now, so, something's not, not right. But there, but there are many reasons besides the league's efforts uh, as to why the number of African-Americans involved in the game has, has declined. But overall, this does cause you to step back and think, you know, if there are more white players, maybe there should be more, more white managers, but, but where are uh, more Latinx managers? Why, is, why isn't that increase taking place? And, you know, so all these issues are, as people dig into the data, those are the questions you, you should ask. And we do more of presenting the data than, than in this case than trying to analyze it because there's so much there. Exactly. That is what our digital issue takes a look at, all of the different uh, causes, all the different effects of this decay here that we have seen in terms of um, people of color being represented in baseball across all of the levels of it. Um, very rare that you will see an industry that has gotten less diverse over the past 25 years, and yet that's, uh, that's what happened with baseball. So for more Check out our digital issue at globalsportmatters.com. Subscribe here to our YouTube page and follow the Global Sport Matters podcast wherever you listen to audio.